Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. I am here with some more Minecraft 1.16 survival series. So before we get into it, it's a new mic, not a new mic. It is new settings. My mic is changing every single episode and I'm sorry for that. But hopefully I can make it sound as good as possible. And before we get into it, I just want to let you guys know that if you have not watched my last video, I recommend you guys do watch it because it is a great video in my opinion now i did a nice little llama pen now for this video you guys as you saw by the title we are going to be doing some terraforming and a bunch of other things but before we get into that let me show you what we got to do first make sure if you guys are not subscribed that you do subscribe because i will be recording a lot more hopefully and posting some more videos but let me know what you guys want to see now over here i did move some of the villagers as you guys may or may not have known and right here I traded with this guy a little bit more so we do have some sticks we have some feathers and we have some string now I did trade a lot of sticks with him but we have some string and some feathers still that we need to get rid of and since I have so much of that what I'm gonna do is get bad omen and complete a raid to get hero the village because once I get that I could get better deals and it'll be so much better so let's get that real quick and show you guys how the deals are i finally got my hero of the village now i do have quite a bit of emeralds over a stack and a half i have done a few minor details along the base but it is just personal preference that i've been changing little by little and now that we have all of this let's just get these feathers and trade with the villager so i want him to be just like all these other guys how they are diamond i think they're master and this guy is expert so he's almost there but i think what we need to do is just max him out for feathers i think that'll be good and now he will turn from expert i don't know will he'll turn after expert i think he should be master if not close to master because i have traded with him quite a bit now we just have to wait till he is master now so we do have poison arrows we have piercing one power to bow it's not the best trades but we do get quite a bit of items oh that's all we could trade four string for one emerald that is great but i mainly want to get the terraforming and the start of this little project down there so the whole base could look really nice as a whole and i could get my mind away from just building this and actually building something cool so i will make this all quite a bit flatter because i want some farms to go all along this land but i'm scared of these phantoms but I think it will look very, very good. So let's get right into it. Actually, before we get into that, let's just do a little bit of the detailing in this room because I do really want to get it done. So yeah, we got to Let's just let's just finish this up. It's almost it's almost done. Something like this, I think, would look very, very nice. Just some details added just a little bit. Now we're going to have a chest right here and then some barrels kind of going around the chest. I think would look very nice. Can I open it if there's a barrel? No, I cannot. So maybe just add some barrels and then we could just have a few chests here and there. I think would look really cool. Yeah, we're going to keep it like that for now. If we need to change it, we can. But something like that does look really cool. We need to add like a little table in the middle, maybe because this crafting table really just isn't doing it for me. Like, just look at it. It's like in the middle of everything, center of attention, and it's just a crafting table. But... I have no idea what I will put there. We do have cauldrons and I think maybe on this side we can add a cauldron and then we could probably add another cauldron just over here instead of this. Add another cauldron, just fill it with water because I think it'll look pretty cool and then some barrels maybe like right here just to give us some more detail and then we could add some like around here just so. It all doesn't look so empty and so plain. I think something like this does look really nice. I am happy with how it looks. Maybe in this little area, I'll add some chains to come down. I might, I don't know, I might decorate a little bit off camera. Just experiment with some designs. Like right here, if I add some chains, see how that looks. I think it actually it does look pretty cool. And it might be something that I want to try. Maybe just right here. For the top layer and then i'll do the same thing on this i'll destroy this layer right here and just for the top layer we could have some chains i think that looks pretty cool kind of dividing the layers and i could probably add some more chains somewhere around here but for right now i am happy with how it looks all i need to worry about is kind of 
changing the floors. I need to add a table right in the middle here. And then we can get started on the terraforming, which is the main part. Okay, so I did a little table now. It doesn't look the best. It does still need a little bit of work. I think one, two, three, four, five on this side. And one, two, three, four. I might move it one more. But I think what I want to do is just have a map right here. Or an item frame. And I think... I have some empty maps so if i just use this one right here and explore a little more i will put a map in the middle of the table because i think that'll look really nice now you can't really see anything on this map but it all that matters is that it's there that's the only thing that i really care about and then i could even add i think yes i do i could add some of the wool right around here but I think that's how it a table is going to look. So I just need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve more villagers that I will need in order to finish this room. Now, on this side is where the chess room is gonna go. But enough talking. Hopefully, you guys do enjoy and subscribe if you are new. Now let's get into the time lapse of me building or terraforming at least this terrain. So after all of that, we have something like this. Now it is super flat and looks kind of boring. It almost looks better before in my opinion. Now the reason why I did this is because I wanted to actually, let me just destroy some more of this mountain a little bit just so it could have a little more definition. 
The reason why I made it all flat is because I want to add some crops and some cool like flowers maybe over here. And I think it would look super nice. I'll leave it like that. Super nice if I just add some cool little features in front of the house. There we go. Is it done? We have most of it done. We have that little area right there left. Just take a second. There we go. Now the whole entire area is filled it is a pretty big pond in my opinion i call it a pond i don't know what else it was supposed to be called but i think it is pretty big then what i'm going to do is destroy all of this so it is pretty deep inside the area and some fish maybe can spawn in there and there we go now we have a huge layer of water which i think looks pretty cool right under the base now, of course, it's not gonna just gonna stay looking like this. I do, I think, have some bones from killing all the skeleton. And I can make some bone meal with that. And then just add some nice seagrass on the bottom of this pond. And I will need to get some seaweed and add it too. But I think some seagrass right here looks very, very nice. Oh, we don't have this layer filled out. There we go. Something like that I think looks super nice. Let me just pick up the rest of this stone and then we can add some shroom lanterns underneath something like that would look really really cool and i think it could be really nice for this we're gonna need a lot of stone and actually i am going to use this whole area that i laid out and want to make sort of like a little pathway now i don't want to make it i don't want to make it look symmetrical i want it to look sort of like an organic shape and I think leading up here, it would look very, very nice. Like if I just add some stone right here into the wall, I think we can have a nice little shape right here. Maybe it goes, it dips a little too much, but then I will bring it down around here, sort of, and then just kind of have the main layout of this. So here is the layout of how I want it to look now. It is a little rough. I am not sure if I want to keep it like that, but I do think it looks pretty nice so far besides this little area right here. I just want to delete this because this was how originally I wanted to look, but I decided I did not want it to be like it. So I just made another path and here is how the main thing looks. Something like this. I'll fly up and show you guys one more time. Something like that I think looks pretty cool. And then in each one of these things is going to go a different block or a different, not block, but a crop or a flower. Something like that just to decorate it a little more. So I have the pond here. There's going to be a pathway that goes right along there. And over here is something that I do want to fix really quickly. Maybe just add that a little bit there. And then here, maybe I'll just bring it up a few more, something like that. So it is kind of against this wall, I think will look very nice. Now, I'm not trying to make this mob proof completely because of course you could just walk down there or fall down the mountain. Not really hard, but they're not really going to be mobs spawning because there's going to be crops everywhere. So I think I like it like that. What I will do is I have to go back up to the base, which is good that I have this pond now because I could always, oh, I guess I don't reach. I can always fly up here. Why can't I reach? Wow, this sucks. This sucks. I can't even reach. What? Look at that. I think it looks very, very nice. Now, this is a bigger area than the rest of them, which is kind of annoying. Might have to maybe cut it a little more. But yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut this area a little more and then I'm going to show you what we're going to do. What I want to do is make this more detailed by adding some andesite and some cobblestone. So what I will do around the walls is just get some cobblestone and some andesite. I think if I do this and then just put some andesite and the cobblestone everywhere, I think it'll look pretty cool. So that's what I'm going to do. And I'm just going to speed it up a little bit because this is quite a long process and I don't want the video to be too long so I'm just gonna be adding cobblestone and andesite all over the place 
So once I add all the details and everything to this, it will look something like this. Now, I do like how it is. I just use a little bit of andesite, cobblestone, and stone. Mix the stuff around. As you guys can see, it is all just mixed around with fences and slabs and regular blocks. Now, this stuff right here, I got to change a little bit. But, oh, it just stopped raining as I did this, which is very nice. But I do like how this looks. We have a little entrance way in the middle, which leads to our little majestic pond over here, which we need to add fish and all that. What we need, there's a skeleton horse. There, there's a, why is there a skeleton horse? Wait a second. Okay, so we caught one. <laughs> we got one skeleton horse. Do we really need more? I mean, we really, I'm sorry, but we don't need you. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Okay, we don't need them. We have so many skeleton horses already. But that was really, really cool. We have a lot of bone meal, actually, which is what I need. But what I'm planning on doing is each one of these are going to have their own little areas or their own little flowers and crops. So I think for this area, we could just add some of these flowers. I'm not even going to try to pronounce it. But if I just add this all over, we do need a lot more. We do need a lot more. Maybe we can add these in a different, a smaller space because we need so much of these that I don't know how I'm going to even get them. They're all pretty much the same size. Like these are all pretty big. I'm guessing this is probably the smallest one here and it still is huge. But if I just add some of these flowers and little by little, we can grow them out. But for now, it is going to have to stay like this really really nice and then on this other layer over here we could have some wheat something like that and then on every single one we'll have something different little egg over there nothing hatched okay but for like something like this we could have some crops and something really cool we don't have a hoe which we do need to get one i have two iron from killing all these freaking zombies that i could make myself a nice iron Oh, there we go. Perfect. For this one, I'm actually thinking of potatoes. So I will have, I think, three layers here. Just two. Something like this. Maybe one more layer. Let's just add these potatoes right here. Well, we ran out of potatoes, so that is not going to work right now. But something like this is what I want. Now, there is some dry land right here. And what I'm going to do is actually break this block and add some water inside that block. So you can't really tell there's water there. So from far, you won't be able to tell. But from here, you can see that there actually is a little bit of water. And it'll look nice and it'll get the plants nice and hydrated. Since we cannot do anything with these yet, we're going to have to just leave that how it is since we don't have anything else. And I do want to see how the sweet berry bushes actually look in one of these crop areas. So I'm thinking this is a huge area. I might just make it out of wheat because it is the biggest area and I have the most wheat. But maybe like this area right here, we could just fill it with these little berries so that once they grow, it is going to be the most dangerous area to be because there is just so much of these berries that hurt you. And it'll actually look a little bit cool, like like some flowers. I think that'll look pretty cool. We did decorate this wall a little bit more to match the theme that we're going with. And what I'm planning on doing next episode is actually doing all of this. So redecorating the whole mountain, I'm probably going to flatten this out a little more, add some more stone. And this little area right here, I might just change it up a little bit. Just add some more detail, some more blocks, because I think it'll look so much nicer when, when it's more than just stone. If I'm going to add some cobblestone and all that, I think it'll look really, really cool. But that is for next episode, possibly. They do, yeah, this is going to look really, really nice. We're going to have flowers. We have potatoes. Some wheat is going to go over here probably, and then we have the berry bushes. It is all going to look super nice. So for this one, for the wheat, I'm not going to do it in layers like I am with the potatoes or the carrots. I'm actually going to fill all of it just with wheat and then add little pockets around the areas with water inside like that. And possibly, I could even add some slabs. I think it'll still work. But possibly just adding some 
like one hole right here and one hole over here with water in the middle just so they can all get all water so i just ran out of durability for my hoe now it was not my iron hoe i actually got a stone hoe and that ran out of durability also so what i will be doing is i actually want i just had an idea so these layers right here are all underneath the second layer which means i could destroy something like this add some water behind here and then i could just plant the items back and it'll be like yep 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 that's exactly what i was thinking so i will do that through the entire layer and show you guys how that looks and i'll be right back once it is all complete but real quick if we look it is looking very very nice you can see the top crops haven't been watered because there's no water anywhere nearby i put one in there and there's nowhere else to put these, so I don't know how I'm going to put water there. I don't think it needs it because at the end of the day, once they all grow, you won't be able to see the ground. But for the most part, these are all looking very, very good. So what I'm going to do is ow, 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 ow. I'm going to keep farming this and I'll show you guys how it looks in a few Minecraft days. Final scene as we... Oh my god, there's so many pillagers. As we come by this, you can see the nice different oh my gosh it is so awesome it is so awesome the nice different layers of how everything looks look at it one more time it is very nice this is just the beginning now we have a lot more things to add first things first i do want to finish all of these layers i think it'll look so much nicer i'm probably going to add another flower in there and wheat right there and then over here we could probably have some carrots or another type of flower too i think would look really really nice or maybe some more berries because the berries do look really cool so we have all of that done looking very very nice i didn't really get much done on this but i do want to make some more stuff in this pond now hopefully you guys did enjoy that video hopefully you guys liked how the layout is make sure you comment down below any suggestions and have a wonderful day see you guys next time goodbye